Repairing and painting bumpers is a common process, given their continuous exposure to damage in a vehicle's bodywork. This video will show you how to repair this part efficiently, step by step. This tutorial will show how to repair and paint a front bumper made of PPEPDM, which has several areas of surface damage. First, examine the extent of the damage. In this example, the use of adhesives or plastic welding will not be required since the damage is superficial. Find the code corresponding to the type of plastic. If the plastic is compatible with the adhesion power of the filler to be used, it won't be necessary to use an adhesion promoter. Blow the surface with a blower. Clean the part with soap and water. Then degrease thoroughly. Sand the edges with an abrasive sponge and a P150 or P220 grit to prepare for the application of the plastic putty. Then deep clean the surface again to remove any sanding residues. Apply a putty with specific adhesion on plastics and that offers an excellent sanding, flexibility and fine finish. Sand the remaining excess putty to level and even out the surface. For this process we can use a P320 or P400 grit. Sand the entire bumper surface. Use an abrasive sponge in hard to reach areas. Once the sanding is finished, clean the pot again. Apply a fast drying adhesion promoter for plastics. If the damaged area is not large, you can use a spray on promoter to be more productive in the repair. Always follow the product's technical data sheet in regards to drying time, gun adjustment, etc. It is advisable not to load too much product to prevent any possible paint detachment or solvent reactions. To help anchor the final coat of paint, we will apply filler. Use a filler that offers excellent drying speed, coverage power and easy sanding. The shade of the chosen filler must match the shade of the finished colour. Once the primer filler has dried, sand the surface with a P400 abrasive paper for a base coat system like the one in this example. Deep clean and degrease the whole part again. Then the finishing process takes place. Apply the colour to the bumper. Finally, apply the final clear coat, always following the specifications of the technical datasheet and other factors such as room temperature and humidity. 